having fun here today up in the studio and we want to bring you a fun project that you can do at home with your kiddos, by yourself, with them, some girlfriends, whatever. And we're going to make some cute little door hangers or you can just put it on your wall. And I'm just showing you a couple examples because really the sky is the limit and creativity is the key. So what are we going to need? You know what? I had some old burlap laying around. But trust me, you can use anything. If you've got old curtains that you're going to throw away, an old pillowcase, um, sheet, a t-shirt, anything you have. Because this is a no-sew project and um, it's going to be fun and quick and easy. So what are we going to need? You're going to need a glue gun and some glue sticks. Whatever kind of paint you want to use. We're, I'm just using a cheapo craft paint that I use with my grandkids and have fun with. Um, maybe a marker or two. I've got these new, I'm addicted, um, Arteza paint markers. They're acrylic paint in them. I'm going to use a little bit of that. I have this bendable wire stuff that I just found in one of my bins and it, it cuts for the wire hanger, but you could use a hanger. It doesn't matter. You're going to need something to cut it with and uh, let's see some sort of batting or um, filler. And I had an old cushion that I don't use anymore that was sticking up in a closet, so I decided, eh, I'm just gonna utilize that. And, but honestly, you could stuff it with newspaper or pages out of a magazine if you don't have any batting. Just get creative, doesn't matter. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I have a uh, piece of fabric. This is burlap and mine is about 12 and a half by uh, 14 and a half per se. You can make it whatever size you want. I've already done my little template and so uh, I just, after I drew the first one and you can draw it on cardboard paper, if you can freehand and want to do it straight on your fabric, you can do that also. But um, for this sake, I um, laid my first piece out and then I just drew around it with a marker, okay? So I've already done both of mine and I have them cut out here. And so let's get started making some fun little um, dots and you could do dots and squiggles and gosh, it really is endless. And I'm just gonna pour some of this uh, paint in this cap to be able to use it easily. Now, if you're using most fabrics uh, will be somewhat porous and it'll go through. So put some sort of a little protect it down um, under what you're um, working on because you don't want to ruin whatever you have there. So I'm gonna just do more dots because I just think these dots um, are so happy and right now most of us are kind of locked up with the coronavirus um, quarantine and I think we all need just something to help us feel happy so this one I decided I'm using turquoise because turquoise is a happy color they've done tons of studies and you know what when you wear turquoise the studies that they've done uh, people are more apt to say, wow, you look great. What are you doing these days? Just because the color um, psychologically just puts off this happy vibe. So just a little side note there. All right. So there's the first uh, part of my little dots that we're going to do. Now I'm going to take my Arteza um, acrylic marker pen. And this one, I think we did faith and hope on the other two. I think I'm going to do thanks on this one. And maybe I'll do it in script on this one. So I'm just going to come up. And. K. S. Thanks. Oh, I already love it. Mmm. I'm going to go ahead and darken or thicken the down strokes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. We're on a roller coaster. Here we go. But see how simple and easy this is? So it doesn't matter if you're using, like I said, you can use whatever material you have around. It's going to be cute and fun. All right, there's the thanks. 
How quick and easy is that? And now I think I'm going to add a few more dots on the outside here just to kind of balance it out. And this is just a little sponge uh, thing I have, but you could certainly just paint the dots as well. Just paint circles, that would work too. Or you could cut out um, from a sponge and make your own stamp, which how fun is that? Okay, I think that, um, I don't think I'm gonna need any more of this paint right now, so I'm gonna move that off to the side so we don't end up um, spilling it. And then I'm gonna go around my dots. I'm gonna just outline my dots with this uh, blue color that we did the thanks in. So simple, right? And I think I'm gonna give these away as gifts just to help people um, remember that we, ha we can have hope. That was the first one I made. Um, we need to always remain in faith that God is in control. And then this one, thanks, we've always got something that we can be thankful for. No matter how bad the situation looks, we all have things that we can be thankful for. And sometimes it's just the little things that you can think of. You know, I was thankful I was able to get up today and um, just be able to come and be with you and do a fun project. I know many of you are homeschooling right now and um, I commend you and applaud you. Trust me, you can do it. Um, and there's so many great resources to help you and uh, I hope this is one that you'll be able to utilize. Oh, I love it. I already love it. I think that is so cute. Um, I do, I have to highlight, you know, me and my highlighting and that means I have to put a little white in it because I just think white, I don't know, it just does something. So I'm going to just grab some just random spots of white and I'm going to just put it on here and um, just randomly no pattern but uh, I think that just adds a little depth to it and oops, I'm getting burlap on it but don't go out and spend a bunch of money use what you have at home I think that's what makes um, art even all the more fun is when you have to force yourself to be creative. What do I have that's available to me that I can utilize and make something beautiful out of? Um, because we also have stuff laying around. Heck, cut up a pillow if you have to. <laughs> it's worth it. It's too much fun. Okay, what do you think? Should I do a, uh, a white in the middle? What do you think, Becca? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. We're doing some white in the middle. I'm gonna do maybe a little bit bigger, just kind of a uh, patchy dot thing. Nothing yeah. that's, it's just random. There's nothing uh, specific about it and it doesn't have to look perfect because we're all about the imperfect. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it all the more fun. Now look at how fast this is going. We are rolling and rocking. Okay. What do you think about the thanks? Should we highlight that at all? I would. Okay. We're going to highlight a little bit. So I, for me, that means I just take and I come down, you know, just parts of letters, not the whole thing. Um, It'll give it a little bit of depth to it. It'll make it kind of pop off of the page or off of the fabric there. And again, doesn't have to be uh, perfect. We're just putting a, a little bit of emphasis on mm -hmm. some of them. And you can do block lettering. You don't have to do cursive. Um, I just heard that they're going to start and teach cursive again. Well, thank goodness. Amazing. I know. I'm like, I can't even believe that people don't know how to do cursive because it can be so pretty. But they're going to start and teach it again, and I'm, I'm glad about that. Okay. So I think we're done. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do, and we'll go off camera for this, you can either let it dry or take a, a blow dryer and dry it. I'm gonna put this to it for a couple minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back at it. Uh, everything is dry, and so now it's very simple. I've got my hot glue gun. It's been uh, plugged in. This thing has been around the block. Oh my gosh, it's got so much junk and crud stuck to it. Um, but kiddos, be sure you get help from your mom if you are using a hot glue, or you can also take a needle and some burlap or thread and just do this in and out, in and out, all the way around it, and that would look super cute too, or slip stitch around it, that would be adorable. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. So this is my um, second piece that I've already pre-cut, and I am going to just lay down a pretty generous amount of hot glue, and um, I, I would be the perfect person for a crime because I don't think I have any fingerprints left <laughs> in all the art stuff that I do and uh, I can't keep nails on I just destroy them it's yeah I stopped worrying about that a long time ago because I have too much fun mm -hmm. and now down the other side here let's get this side secured you don't obviously it's easier not to uh, glue the entire thing and like just leave the top open and you're going to see why because some of these spots are a little bit harder to get to so I'm just going to take some of my old stuffing that poor pillow I know that poor pillow he's, <laughs> okay, he's that's right he's getting to, he's getting repurposed that's right. he's gonna look beautiful okay so I'm stuffing a little stuffing in there and I'm just continuing on and um, I'm actually going to seal up this other side so the bottom portion will pretty much be done and just move it around whatever makes uh, you know workable sense for you to to get to it again I'm just gluing along this bottom edge or the side edge and then I'm folding it over and just pressing it down Okay, yay, and voila, the bottom part is done. You can make it as fluffy as you want or, um, you know, as flat as you want. It doesn't matter, it's totally up to you. So now let's go ahead and come around this corner and we'll come out to one of the side pieces. And is it is, this stuff. You know, ouch, there we go. There's part of my fingerprints gone. <laughs> oh dear. You know, a person could wear gloves. <laughs> this might not be a bad idea, folks. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not a big glove person. I like to get my hands in it, and I like to, whatever it is, whatever medium I'm working with, I love to feel it, feel the texture and um, the pain. Or the stinging heat. <laughs> The pain and the ouch, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so I'm getting this side all fluffied up, and um, I'm gonna stuff a little bit more down in the bottom there. And this is a little tricky sometimes because you just gotta push it in and then hold it in while you get your glue down on the inside so that. And again, you don't have to use hot glue. There's so many other options. Oopsie, sorry. That was my phone, so sorry. Um, there are so many other options that you can use, you know, from just regular glue to um, that little, get a big old uh, needle and just literally like sew it together. And I think that would be super cute. I could see it like with a different colored string mm -hmm. stitched around the outside. Yep. Wouldn't that be adorable? Like orange with that. Oh, would be wow. Super cute. We might have to try one of those. Yeah. Another video idea. Woo. Yep, here we go. You know, but there's so many. You don't have to do a cross. You could pick whatever um, shape you want. You know, mm -hmm. I almost did a bunny. 
all for Easter. Uh-huh. Be cute. I mean, we should have to do one. I know. I was like, oh, should I do a bunny? And then I was like, no, I'm going to do a cross. I'm just going to do three crosses this time with different words on them. But yeah, you could do a um, bunny. You could do um, an egg. Oh, yeah. An that would be shape. cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paint the egg. Mm-hmm. How cute. Okay, stop this project. On to the egg. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the never ending list of things. Yep. Okay. And we are almost done, folks. Wow. This is so great. Yay. My fingers are full of glue. Okay. And now we just have this one side left. And I'm going to lay down the glue on one edge and um, this is the one thing I like to have like I said something underneath you so you can pick that up and it doesn't matter if this is getting destroyed but I'm not destroying a table and I'm not destroying a cloth that I really love it's just an old piece of paper it doesn't matter Okay, so I have one side that's left open that I'm going to push the rest of my stuffing in. Then we'll seal that up and we'll make a hanger and voila. Okay, so let's get that stuffed up there. Okay, last side. Yay! Oh, this is so cute. I already know the people that I'm giving these to, and I can't wait to give them to them. Let's see. I've got a little hole here on the side. You can see that. But easy enough, you know, just go back in with a little extra glue or an, an extra stitch. Um, push that in and uh, give it a little hold together, and you're good to go. All right. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay, so um, now I'm going to put the hanger on it, and then we'll trim this up a little bit and make it a little more, um, you know, polished. So here's my little bendable. It's just aluminum wire. It's like really flexible. It's cheap, and I've just got a little pair of cutters. And then I'm just um, forming it to be like a little hanger. And like I said, it's this is flexible. But a regular ha- hanger would work great too. All right. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to poke it through here. Okay. So I poked it up through there. And I have a little pair of pliers. And I'm going to take this pair of pliers. And I am just going to curl I'm just going to curl and curl about two or three times to make a cute little hanger holder on the front. Love it. All right. There we go. And let's do it again over here and poke it through. Now, if you're using regular fabric, you obviously aren't going to be able to poke it through, so you may have to make a little slit with your uh, pair of scissors. Um, and you'll accomplish the very same thing, but just curl those so that it has a stopping point. Okay, now let's just do a little uh, cleanup here on it and get rid of a few of these little stragglies. I don't know, I think it looks cute the way it is, but you may want to, um, you know, make it a little more polished looking. Either way is fine. The raggy tag look looks cute, I think. Um, But certainly, feel free to um, trim it as much as you want or as little as you want. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's just adorable. Okay, and I have a um, piece of, or a a bolt of this, I don't know, twine, I guess it is. And I'm just going to cut off a nice little size piece there. And I'm going to wrap it around here. You can use any kind of ribbon you have, curl it up. Um, uh, uh, Just another piece of fabric would be cute. You know, several little strips of fabric together hanging off of it would be adorable. Oh, okay. What do y'all think? Do you love it? 
-hmm. I think it's adorable. So here we have our three um, ones that we did. The faith with the green, the thanks with the turquoise, and then hope with the red. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun creating with your friends and family, and we will see you next time.